For the 60th problem on the second ACT practice test, what is the real value of x in the equation log base 2 of 24 minus log base 2 of 3 is equal to log base 5 of x? So our end goal is that we need to solve for x here. And to do that, we'll need to understand a couple different properties about logarithms. So let's say you have log base a of b divided by c. So you have a logarithm where you have a quotient inside. And if this is the case, what you can do is essentially separate it into two logarithms. So this would be equal to log base a of b minus log base a of c. So if you have a quotient in here, you can split it up into these two logarithms where you're subtracting between them. And the logarithm that you're subtracting is essentially your denominator here. So this is one property we can use. And the other property that you might see that's very similar to this one is that if we instead had a product inside your logarithm, then instead of splitting up into a subtraction problem, they would split up into an addition problem. But this particular logarithm will not actually play a part in the solution of this problem. So let's start just by using this identity here, dealing with division. Since notice, we're subtracting logarithms on the left-hand side here. And also notice, and this is important, the base has to be the same for us to recombine it into one logarithm. And notice our base here is base two. So we know we can actually do this. So let's just rewrite the equation to start. So now that we've rewritten it, we have this subtraction here between these two logarithms and they have the same base. So we're dealing with essentially the right side of this identity here. And we can essentially recombine these into one logarithm with the same base, this base of two. But now we're gonna take essentially these inside parts of the logarithms that we're subtracting and create a quotient into our recombined logarithms. So the numerator of this quotient will be what's in the bigger logarithm, or I should say what's in the positive logarithm, and then the logarithm that we're subtracting, what's inside it there, this three, this will be the denominator of our quotient. So we recombine these into one logarithm of base two, and on the inside we have this 24 divided by three. And this is still equal to log base five of x. So now 24 divided by three, we can simplify that and 24 divided by three is just eight. So we have log base two of eight, and this is equal to log base five of x. Though log base two of eight, we can solve this. Essentially what this means is that we have two to some power. We're raising two to some exponent, and when we raise two to that power, we get eight. So think two to what power gives you eight? And two to the third power would give you eight. So this entire logarithm here, this is just equal to three. Since remember that logarithms are simply just exponents. So we essentially just found the exponent that you have to raise two to to get to eight. So we're replacing all of this with just the number three, and this is equal to log base five of x. And from this point, we can solve for x. Since think, if this is log base five of x, so we're thinking we have to raise five to some power to get to x. And this entire logarithm is equal to that power. So three is our exponent that we're raising five to to get to x. So you can actually completely rewrite this equation so this now just becomes five to the third power is equal to x. Since logarithms are always equal to whatever the exponent is. And 
this lower number here, this is always the base, and you'll always raise the base to your exponent. So 5 to the third power is equal to x, and 5 to the third power is just 5 times 5 times 5, which is 125. So x is 125, and if we go up to our answer choices, so choice letter J will be our final answer.